So, I've been watching some videos on the Destroyer, and the reviews don't seem to be too good, and they're from a pretty long time ago when it first came out. I want to do a review on what it's like and, you know, the stats now, see if it's been changed or updated in any. So, if we look at the stats on it, it's got pretty good speed, the durability is pretty good. But when you watch the videos, it seems to fall apart pretty easily. Um, its handling is pretty good. So, what we're really going to be testing is the durability. Excuse me. So, I'm going to pick it. Give me one second. So, we're on the destroyer. Uh, let's go ahead and test out the speed. So we're going to line it up over here, and we're going to do a straightaway. We're just going to test out how strong the top speed is, along with this acceleration. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one. So, its acceleration was pretty good, it wasn't too bad. Um, I can definitely tell it's faster than the yacht, um, probably the pirate ships. I'd say its speed is pretty good. It's definitely not as fast as Spectra though, which is, you know, expected. But I'd say it's pretty good. So now let's test the handling. I wanted to see, I also want to ram it into a few boats, see how it does with that. So, there's a small boat, didn't really seem to do anything, which is good. So we're going to do a sharp turn, sharp, sharp turn around this island. So this turning radius isn't great. And that th fishing boat seemed to pop us up a little bit. We'll run into this pirate ship and see what happens. Turning the radius isn't great, but when I stop turning the wheel, it seems to like catch onto the water really well and not like drift. So we run into the pirate ship and it seems to just like kind of flip it over. When it comes out of the water, that's when it becomes unstable. So, that's not great. So, for this round, we're going to be testing the durability. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be ramming the destroyer into the shark. We're going to see how many parts fly apart. Also, going to test another thing the survivability after we crash. So, let's first find the shark. right over here. So watch how when I come out the wheel it just stops turning. You can't do that in the deluxe shot. It just keep drifting. I don't know why the shark's running away. It's kind of odd. His turning speed isn't great though, but I guess you could expect that from the turning radius. So two blocks fell out, as two blocks fell out and we flipped. Here's a little tip for getting out. See how you can't get out? Well, the door frame came out. Well, never mind. But if the door frame was still in, you could like, you know, pull out your gun and be able to get out that way. So you can see over there, it goes into a bunch of pieces. Some of those pieces float and some of them don't. 
So the best thing to do is probably get on top and you want to shield yourself away from the shark over there. The pieces are hollow, so it's not the best for standing on them, and they, it's kind of hard to survive on them like it is the deluxe shot. That's when you run into problems. You're not able to stay on the pieces, and the shark's able to get to you. So, the durability is definitely not great like it says it is. I'd say the speed is pretty, pretty accurate. The handling, I think it should be around right here. And the durability, probably like a little bit less than half. It's not great. Well, I thank you for your time. Thank you. Make sure to leave a comment saying what you think about the video. And I'll see you next time.